Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants and today we are making the best ever vegan pancakes. If you've ever done a Google search for the best vegan pancakes, you'll probably find a lot of results. I mean a lot. I would know because I myself have done that search trying to find what is the best vegan pancake or at least one that is really, really good. I have tried many different recipes and a lot of them were not that good. I've tried ones that claim to be the fluffiest, I've tried very simple ones, and I've even tried that very famous tasty one that everybody raves about, but none of them have been that good for me. Enter this recipe. I just happened to stumble upon this recipe from a Google search. So today's recipe comes from the Wallflower Kitchen and the recipe is simply called the fluffiest vegan pancakes. Now I personally don't need a super fluffy pancake. I just want something that isn't too doughy or sticky or wet inside. And I do feel that these fit that criteria. So after trying out many, many, many different recipes, I feel that I finally found a recipe that works perfectly every time I make it. I have replicated this recipe over and over just to make sure it wasn't a one-time fluke. And in fact, it has worked every single time. So I'm here to share the recipe that has worked the best for me so far, what I have found to be the best vegan pancake recipe. And with that, let's get started. First up, we need 180 grams flour, which is about one and a half cups, two tablespoons cornstarch, two teaspoons baking powder. This is what will make them fluffy, a quarter teaspoon cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. For our wet ingredients, we're going to need one cup of plant milk, three tablespoons maple syrup, two tablespoons vegetable oil, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and half a teaspoon vanilla. Okay, now we have our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients, and I'm just going to incorporate them very carefully. We don't want to overmix the batter here because that, I guess, is what makes your pancakes too gummy inside. So I guess it's very important just to mix the batter until it is lightly incorporated. Now, once your pan is nice and hot, you can start cooking your pancakes. If you would like to butter your pan, that's perfectly acceptable. That's what I'm going to be doing because I have this nice, beautiful, delicious Miyoko's butter to use. Or if you have a really good nonstick pan, you can probably go without. But this is what I'm using today and feel free to use whatever you would like. And finally, we have our lovely little pancake stack. This makes about nine or 10 medium-sized pancakes for me. I'm sure you could probably double the recipe if you want more than that, but here we go. They are nice and fluffy, and I just feel that they're the perfect consistency inside. I'm sure there are hundreds of other perfect vegan pancake recipes, but this is the best I've found so far, and if you are still searching for that perfect vegan pancake recipe, I do suggest you guys try this one out. Or if you have another recipe that you think is the best or most perfect vegan pancake recipe, leave it in a comment down below. I would love to know what you guys think is the best and I'd love to try it out myself. I will leave the original recipe link down below as well as the modifications that I've made to it. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, let's eat plants, and I will see you guys next time as I'm just standing here with this stack of pancakes. <laughs>